2023-2024 season. Let's get it. It's a great return, lay y'all shakes back We go on live and tune up to the max Real and King, so spit in the facts Wrapping it up with Lil Yard in the chat Baltimore Dallas, we still on the map The others agree, we don't know about that We wrote the blueprints, don't know about that And you go, we trust, yeah, we know about that And the fed fail, that we rise Are cooking up with curve, we steak in the lives I hope your appetite, we're winning this hearty Grab for the seat for the after game party We never die, we live on the pies But you ain't imagining, we home like foxes Lightning in the sky like Dr. Frankenstein Luca and Kyrie, like really the mob the rules of the game are the same They're on every platform, same name As WTM, have your question on screen Keep it courteous and keep it clean And remember to share and like Welcome Will and King to the mic Wherever, whenever you hear this pod Ladies and gentlemen, this is a glow yard YouTube, Glow Yard Gang, MFFL Podcast listeners all over the globe God, welcome to a brand spanking new episode of We Talk Mavs we talk Dallas Mavs from a fan's perspective, guys. Another diz up for your boys out here. The good guys win once again. Free bingo spaces for everybody. Can you get a free bingo space? I did. Oh, I okay. Did. All right. Okay. All right. You can tell you can let me know, nothing, man. I'll tell you to text me and let me know when you got that free bingo space. Listen, man. Here's your boys, Rell and King, man. We back with a brand spanking new one for your lovely head tops out there. Listen. If you guys are new to the channel, into Dallas Maverick content, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man, and join us here as we talk about all things Mavs as we get ready for the playoffs. And also, too, man, everybody hit that like button, man. Hit that like button for your boys out here, man. Luke out here nearly putting up a 40-point triple-double. Kyrie nearly putting up a triple-double. So go ahead and hit that like button, man, for your boys tonight, man. All right, King, you ready to get into it, man? I am, bro. All right, man. Let's go ahead and get into it. But before we do, man, let's go ahead and show some love to some sponsors of the channel. Before we continue, we want to give a special shout out to Fanatics for hooking the channel up with a personalized link for you guys and ladies to get all of your official NBA Dallas Mavericks merchandise and apparel. If you're interested in helping the channel at all, please scan the QR code on the screen or check out the link in the description. We appreciate all of the continued support and big thanks go out to Fanatics once more for hooking us up over here at We Talk Maps. Yes, sir, guys. So go ahead and click on that link down below, man, and go ahead and copy some brand new, fresh off the stove Mav gear, man, and support your team out here, man, through Fanatics. All right, King, let's go ahead and get into these takeaways of the game, man. Yes, sir. Wingle, wingle, wingle. Listen, Dallas wins 130 to 104. King, you know what we got to do, man. You got to put it in the people's face. Here we go. Field goals. Dallas 53%. The Charlotte Bobcats. No Charlotte Bobcats. All right. Charlotte Hornets. <laughs> 43%. Uh, Dallas 34% from three. Uh, Charlotte 31%. Free throws. Dallas 65%. 13 of 20. Charlotte 16 of 21 for 76. Rebound, Dallas murders them on the boards, 55 to 39. <clears throat> Offensive, Dallas 16 to 8. Defensive, 39-31, Dallas. Man. All right, King, you already know what to do, man. Go ahead and let the folks at home know, man, what was on your Kingster Diamonds loving mind out here, man. Uh, nothing much. Um, apologies to folks that, you know, listen to the playback today. We didn't even really discuss the game much, man. There was nothing really to talk about. I know, right. Um, <laughs> EJ Washington, man, like um just they just forced the ball to him. Um uh, he was pushing it, he was pressing it some uh today, but uh, it is what it is, bro. I didn't give a hell about that. Um Gafford was unstoppable. We knew that. Like, I mean that bro, I, I didn't give a hell about this game. I bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I was gonna I was gonna send it straight to the glow yard, bro. Like, yeah, like it, what, what, what we gonna talk about, bro. There's nothing to talk about. Like it's Luka, a free bingo space. We supposed to win this game, bro. We supposed to win the way we just won it. I mean, what is what is, what is this, bro? Luca first quarter went on like a twenty six to six run himself. I shot with Grant Williams. Um, you know, he just did his thing. I knew that was gonna happen. Uh he really could have went for fifty tonight if he wanted to, but he got to a point after that he just tried to get assist and all that. He was just he was hunting a triple double because it was so easy. He was doing what we do, what we talk about all the time. Bad teams, take care of bad teams, yep. and just be able to get your numbers like jokers and all of that kind of stuff easily. Just you can do play the game however you want to play when you play bad teams. Uh Kyrie was doing kind of the same thing, bro. Like they this team's trash. And I don't want to be like a guy that's not humble, but they were trash. You could tell the Mavericks play were trash. 
uh, Hornets went on a little bit of a run, got it down to like what, uh, 11 or something, 11, yeah, yeah. But, um, I think JCK called the timeout, told the guys to stop playing, um, went back out, built the lead 18, and, so they built the lead back up, and then uh, the garbage guys came in the game as well, and um, they weren't able to contain them either, so it was just, um, just a butt with me. Um, they really could have held try to them under 100 points truthfully um but got to 104 again under 110 mavericks got to 130 so i mean it's getting the regular season getting kind of boring it is what it is you know what we're ready for right now i know we usually one game at a time we really one game away from 50 wins that's all i really wanted in the regular season and um this time let's go get our break uh start resting guys um i don't know if the last time i, I checked the clippers were, were embarrassing uh the suns it was it was ugly, man. They 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 almost failed to score ten in the first quarter, um, and almost gave them forty. But um, yeah, if that game's done and the Clippers wins that, win that one, uh, you go get your go get your one more, you know, victory to solidify your fifty wins and um, just start resting guys, get ready for this match at four or five, and uh, go from there. But um, it is what it is, bro. Everybody, it was an awesome game. Mavericks do, did what Mavericks supposed to do. They looked like the best team in the NBA, like they are, and uh, yeah, go Mavs. Man, I'm not gonna. Get, I'm not gonna talk about the game. Uh, I do want to talk about this. Uh, this Clippers Phoenix game, bro. This is ridiculous, man. Like you said, I think they scored. What was it? Four or six points? Somebody in the first quarter, bro. It was ten all together. They was on four for a long time. Bro, we asked y'all to do one thing, man. Yeah, man. Folks, we'll talk about. I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and prep this on who I who I'm talking about when I say folks. The national media was sitting up here hyping up the sun. They won like two or three games in a row, whatever it was. Like, oh, they could be the ones that could beat Denver and all this old stuff. Okay. If that's the case, then won't you show me what y'all can do by going out there and taking business, taking care of business against the Clippers? No Kawhi, no James Harden. No Kawhi, no James Harden. They're getting drugged like a vacuum cleaner right now, bro. All, th- all the big three there. You know what, man? I'm I, I'm going to be petty and just I want to see what happens to the Suns during the playoffs or even the play in because it's like they might fall to the play in because uh, the Warriors is winning right now. So um, if they fall to the play in and get eliminated in the play in, I want to see what happens to that team, bro. You know, I already know they're not going to be good in the playoffs, and I I'll tell you why. It's it's mm-hmm. it's numbers. I use, I use certain numbers <clears throat> <clears throat> when you you like um. Compare championship level teams. There's certain things you look for. Like I told you, I think I read them off like a couple of shows ago, and I told you what the Mavericks are good at, like rebounding, um, uh, clutch. Like, what do you do in the clutch? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Big time situations. Like, you just got to look certain things. Offense, defense. Like, you you weigh and you like, how is the team in them situations? That's what you really got to worry about in the playoffs. The way the playoffs are played. The Suns suck in the clutch. They're trash in the clutch. I was gonna say they might be the worst. But I can't remember. They, they're one of the worst for sure, like one of the bottom five in the league in clutch, uh, that's, in, yeah, in clutch time. So, yeah, that's not good. That means something's something's wrong and you got to go on that. Also, <clears throat> whenever the chips are on uh, the table, you know, they're all in and the Phoenix Suns got a game. Today was a game. Today was a game yep. to make a statement and like you, you're still fighting for something. You can get out of the play and make sure you try to solidify yourself. You got a little chance to kick Dallas, all that type of stuff. And the Clippers are also um, bad at what are they bad on at home? I think they are there. And your yeah. next game is not that. Yeah, you're not that good at home. Yeah. This is that. This is in Phoenix. So you could have won this game. Clippers are bad at home. You don't know what's going yeah. on with Kawhi right now. Injuries and all that. You could have won that. Solidified it. You looked like you were going on a run. And you do things like this. And like I said, in big time moments, I see this constantly, time and time again. It's you can buy. When a guy, when guys are like in their like tenth year, really, when they get to like five and beyond, <clears throat> you can start telling what guys are. Really, yep. five to like eight range is where you can really tell what guys are. And when you're doing the same things this far, like bro, they're the same people. I don't trust Devin Book is going to choke if it comes down to. This. Do you believe James Harden will show off in the for the Clippers in the playoffs? No, you don't because you've already. It don't matter. James Harden going to stretch right here for the last four games and drop forty a game. You still believe James Harden probably not going to show up, and he's going to choke sometime somehow in the playoff series. It is what it is. You've seen it enough times. Devin Booker does it. KD does it at times. Like I've seen it enough where the Suns aren't going to be successful. They don't have a guy. I don't trust uh, Bradley Beal. Don't trust Bradley Beal. How that trade looking now? How them two trades looking now that Brooklyn made? Who who won the Brooklyn? Which one did Brooklyn beat? Or which one did Brooklyn win? I should say. Uh, they won the Phoenix one. I was told they won the Maverick one. 
Mm. What you just huh, you was told, huh? I guess if everybody go back and redo all these trade analysis, they would change. Hey, say, save though. save that one, King. Oh, I'm, told. Sorry. I'm sorry. I was told. You're right. I was told. was told. All right. Listen, uh, I agree with you, man. Um, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going to throw no shots or nothing, man. It is what it is. It's what people's fandoms do. But um, this this a part that I don't understand. We see Giannis and Dame now. Yeah, people can say, "Oh, they're number two or whatever in the East." It's the East. Like those teams would be number five or six or seven in the West right now. So I don't know why I don't I don't see people questioning the Giannis Dame fit. I don't see anybody questioning the big three fit in Phoenix. But there were still people who were doubting the Luca Kyrie fit. Bro, hold until on. now, bro, you until know now. Do you know Giannis and them would be the six seed? Yes, that's what I'm saying. They would be the the, the six seed right now in the. Well, yeah, you right. Sorry, I said fifth. You are right. Yeah, my bad. They, they six or seven us. seed right now. Yes. Because they're in the, in the West, That's and they're number wild. two in the East. Which they is why I was saying that nobody questions that. I guess because they're number two in the East, not putting in the context is like, but like you just said, your team would be like number six or seven in the West. Be a playing team. It'd be a playing team in the West. So nobody questions what those guys fit. Matter of fact, what were we losing like five games in a row or whatever it was, four games in a row, or whatever it was, and like nobody questions if they fit right. We see the Suns off and on, right? All we heard was wait till the big three get together. With the big three together right now, what they doing? You, you're losing to a Clipper team without Kawhi, without James Harden. Mm. So, like, we don't never hear the national media bringing these up. Like, why do these guys fit? We never hear that. But you heard that, like I said, you heard it from the, about the Mavericks, and now people are realizing that Luka and Kyrie are good together. So many, that's a part I don't understand, bro. How many times have you seen Luka and Kyrie play basically 12 minutes together and score 10 points? Oh, they do it all the time, okay? But it, it, they, they don't work together. You see my name? Don't do that, King. Come on, bro. I'm sorry. We just saw Phoenix Big Three play basically the whole first quarter and score ten points. Oh, uh, but they better than Luca and Kyrie though. If we played, that's if, what I was told. Let me ask you this question: Do do team. If we played the Phoenix Suns, right? Mm-hmm. Sweet. We got the okay. We got the first best, <laughs> player, right? We got the best player on the floor. I'm not even arguing that one. Like I respect KD enough to give him one. I'd say five. Okay. Okay. All right. You know, gentlemen, sweet, but. We're gonna we gonna sweep you in close games. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. They have the um, but if they have, if we have the the best player in the series, right? Mm-hmm. Who's the second best player? I say Kyrie. We got the two best players in in, in the series. Listen, I told you this before. Well, you know, <laughs> I said this on the members only. We said this sure. like a month ago. I got Luca and Kyrie on my team going into the playoffs. I'm good, bro. You start you- me off with that, bro. You start me off with that. I'm good. I've said this a million times. I'm good, especially with Luke. We know what Luke's gonna do in the playoffs. That's a guarantee, bro. What he's gonna do in the playoffs? I'm good, bro. Skip Bayless about to get canceled, but if you hear his opinion on Luke and Kyrie now, he's saying some true stuff, bro. It's wild. Like, I guess you wait until the the end to try to, you know, connect your train to Luka Doncic. Like, it's too late now. You had a whole. You could have been the guy ahead of time that could have had your show saying Luka, Luka, but you wanted to hate on him and all that, but. It is what it is. They got to get Keyshawn Johnson. That's yo Keyshawn. Oh, yeah, Keyshawn trash. Keyshawn is trash, bro. I'm talking about definitely like it's cringy. A, definitely gonna do what I, I was told with him. But anyway, go ahead. It, it, but it was cringy though. Very cringy. Like Keyshawn's takes. Like Paul Pierce looks at him at times. Like, bro, what are you talking about? Like in some of the stuff he says. But Skip was saying. Um, he said a couple things today. He said one. Uh, he's never seen an offensive play. He said that again. That Luca might be one of the best offensive plays I've ever seen. And I'm like, damn. Skip, uh, shout out to Kevin O'Connell. He said that too. Yep. Um. He, he said that um, the backcourt between Luka and Kyrie, he think they may be the best duo in the league right now. And he said that also they may be the most skilled, like between the two of them, the most skilled duo he's ever seen. And I'm like, good boy. I just felt I was like patting myself on the back. Like, that. Skip, you. So Skip. I got an opinion about this whole uh, heel turn from, from Skip, right? Mm-hmm. I've said this before. Sports media now has turned into a – it's like a it's like a soap opera, right? It's like an act. Mm-hmm. Remember, we used to hear like Skip has his. Everybody knew who Skip guy is. Everybody knew who Shannon Sharp guy was. Shannon Sharp is talked to try to take it that over to ESPN. Yep. Now, as it has it succeeded for him, I don't know. I don't really. I don't watch ESPN, so I don't know. But he's trying to take that whole his his Laker Lebron love to ESPN, right? That's his that's his stick. Mm-hmm. 
Skips was, you know, uh, Jordan and, and uh, LeBron. Hey, still LeBron. Well, yeah, hey, LeBron. And then what was uh, Tom Brady? That was his other one, right? Tom Brady. Mm-hmm. So I, I feel like now Keyshawn is now going to be Skip. Skip is going to be Shannon Sharp. I think that's what they're doing, yes. bro. And uh, they're, they're trying. This is their, I think this is their ace in this league. So Skip is a smart dude. Like I don't, I don't think Skip. You can tell me the stuff, the stuff that Keyshawn is saying. He believes is what he's saying. But I mean, he probably do. I don't know, but you know, I, but, I think he might do though, bro. Yeah, I think, I think, he might I think right Skip right. just may have the guy in the room that he can actually be like, you don't know anything. Like, I, you feel yeah. me? I can be smarter than you. Which, which I think somebody said that for Stephen A. Smith before. No, they get guys they think he was mad at Max because Max seemed like he knew more than Stephen A. Smith at times, and it's like. Oh, yeah, geez. a lot of times Max was dropping facts, and then like Skip and then uh, Stephen A would just go out there and just argue, just to be arguing with them. And I, I remember I was listening to somebody. Uh, what was the dude name? Uh, Dreamers Pro. He brought that up. Mm-hmm. He said, if you listen to their show, it sounds like Stephen A is just arguing, just to argue, just to. So they, you know, yep. So we had that back and forth or whatever. It's like, bro, you you know what he's saying is true. Like, a lot of times he'll say kind of what he's saying, yep. but kind of like reword it a little bit to make it sound yep. like he's arguing with them. It's like. But I guess it's all part of debate TV or whatever it is. That's what bro. I'm saying. And then your boy Skip, though, I feel like Skip last ace in his sleeve is Luka Doncic. ESPN doesn't have the Luka Doncic. Legler is trying to be like, hey, hey, guys, hey, I'm the guy right here. You can come talk to me. But they don't have it. Like on first take, neither – like Shannon, guys that like LeBron like Luka, but they're they're, they're, he- they're like – it's like they're taking too long to jump off. You feel what I'm saying? Like pause, but like – you got to jump off LeBron and join Luca now. And they're like, I don't want to do that yet. I, I, I'm not ready yet. Huh? LeBron has so much touch. He's a marketing genius, bro. He has so much touch in the game and all. Like, I understand. But you got to be ready to take that jump because you know what's about to happen. You got to take that leap and be the, the – you got to be the, the the leader, not the follower. Like, and Skip, I guess, is saying, oh, I see what's going on. I'm about to put Luke as a part of the show and all. He's going to be my guy and all that stuff right now. I'm going to talk about him, that I criticize him so much and look at this guy, the transition he's made, to how he's became great and all. And first take kind of don't have that yet. First take, Stephen A. Smith nor uh, Shannon Sharp are really a Luca guy. Like, Steve, Shannon will still – Shannon likes Luca, but Shannon will still use Luca when it's, like, about LeBron. Even at this day and age, he will still try to – point out Luca's uh, deficiencies and like go at him how you going to do this and how you going to do that when I'm trying to pick up LeBron so I think that's what I'm saying I think this is like Skip's last ace in the hole but I don't know if it's going to work like I said I like I told you before I like Paul Pierce on the show I'm not a big Paul Pierce guy as far as he usually say wild stuff but when he's on that show knowing that he knows basketball just in general he has a basketball mind he's played it you can it's like a different dimension because it's not a Shannon Sharp it's a he'll go back at Skip with like facts in a way if that makes sense like stuff that's actual basketball stuff and skip been skip been cooler now like skip been on the the calm train letting other people go i don't know what's going on i hope he's good with his health and all that stuff but it is what it is bro oh i wanted to shout out prayers to Giannis too bro because Giannis injury look didn't look good bro yeah he got hurt and he grabbed that calf and you it looked like one of those kevin durant calf injuries and they said too it was no contact it was it was no he just started running back and it was like look at kevin durant remember remember they said the calf strain with kevin durant when everybody was saying no that's an achilles i can tell and he went and played, and then popped yeah, popped, yeah. right right behind it was up was yeah. done. The way he went down and got up and all, I was like, damn, Giannis, I hope that's not. Oh, bro, that's 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 so too, man. Right before the playoffs, man. I mean, anybody get kicked out in the first round, and they probably gonna end up playing Indiana or something. And get, oh get, man, uh, they get ran by. They, they get play Indiana. They gonna get Indiana in the second round, bro. Indiana would probably like, please let us get the Bucks right now, man. Like, I think everybody, I think everybody's saying, please get the Bucks. Yeah, because Dame ain't, Dame ain't taking them to the second round. No, nah. this is the beginning of the end of Dame. Well, he gonna have, a, he gonna ha- try to have a redemption year, I guess next year. Next year gonna be a major year for Damian Lillard. It's got to be a redemption year. If it's not, then that might, this might start being the. I'm gonna ask you, what what option should uh, KD be right now? Kevin Durant, mm-hmm. number two. So he should be a number two still. I've already told you that. You I, think think it, that. I don't think he should be number one. I don't think he. I, so I don't think KD can do that no more. When KD was in Brooklyn, who was number one? Well, the reason why I asked you that because I was doing some thinking today. Mm-hmm. What if KD need to be lower than that? Maybe a number three. He could. He could be. So I KD has the, a game the most of, of, effective he can be now in this in this point in his career. It's got to be a number three, bro. He can be. He can be. A very efficient get you twenty because he's efficient as hell. He could be an efficient twenty points. Yeah. See, K, KD's not a volume shooter. That's why everybody I think everybody gets wrong all the time. Like 
that 49 he had in that playoff game was amazing. Like KD getting 49, 50, and even that is uh, amazing for KD because KD doesn't shoot volume. Yeah, you get your 50 points on like uh three yeah, shots. And you like, damn, he got you 50, but like he ain't going 50 is awesome. Like KD got you 50. KD ain't a guy that's gonna get like I say, I keep saying he's never had a 60 point game. You think of KD, you like KD, Kevin Durant, he should be. He's never had a 60 point game. Bronze even had a 60 point game. Yeah. KD's not that type of guy. He's not a volume guy. So even Lucas had a 60 point game. I mean, Devin Book has had a 60 point game. I think Bradley Bills had a 60 point game. Uh can he get a 60 point game right now? He can still get a 60 point game if he tried to. <laughs> if it, it would have to be like against one of the trash teams and he'd do it. I mean, he could, bro. I think he could. I don't know. I keep because I thought he could forever and he hasn't. So right. I don't know. I don't know. I told you, I always, I kept telling you, Draymond Green had a point on this show. Guys say crazy stuff, but there is there is fact and craziness, right? People, crazy folks tell you the truth. Draymond Green told you, uh, Kev, Kevin Durant to folks is what they really want to look at in Kyrie Irving. Like, Kyrie is really what folks think Kevin Durant is. And what I say by that is, I keep telling folks, the only reason I don't think Kyrie is, there's a list, I said this in playback, there's a list of, like, best number twos ever like greatest of number twos the scotty pippins kevin McHale's guys i think kyrie irvin is on that is on that list and those guys are top 50 great players and all that stuff that don't that's not a knock to kyrie irvin i think the only reason that he's not a guy that can be that number one where it's better if he's a number two is because of his height so his height takes away from him which means that if any other if you on a team with somebody else that gets double teamed and you got Kyrie Irving that can go one on one with anybody it's it's barbecue chicken if if Kyrie can't get double teamed it's barbecue chicken Luka Doncic can play a game out of a double team you feel what I'm saying like that's why I feel like he's a number one six foot seven six foot eight whatever you want to call him he can play out of that when look when that's why I never worried about I kept saying even when we got Kyrie and we was getting him if we get Kyrie it's LeBron and Kyrie all over again. Like, I don't think it'd be a problem. It's LeBron yep. and Kyrie all over again. And everybody like, no, nah. it's like James Harden. But but Kyrie succeeded with James Harden, too. No. Oh. Luke and Kyrie can't work. I'm sorry. Come but on, he's, bro. You know what? You don't watch the games, bro. Bro, but, but Kyrie succeeded with James Harden, too, though. That's what people fail to realize. Hmm. They looked amazing together when they were in Brooklyn. When they were actually healthy. It's because Kyrie's not a one. Kyrie's issue is his size. His issue has always been trying to put him on the floor at the right position because of his size. I don't think Kyrie's a point guard. I think Kyrie's a two. Kyrie is Kobe Bryant. That guy, that Mamba mentality guy and all that stuff they talk about and saying, hey, Devin Booker and all that. No, it's not. It's it's Kyrie Irving. He's just six foot two and a half or whatever the hell he is. And he's not tall enough to be Kobe Bryant. But as far as skill, he's put in the extra. I think he's more, I think he's more skillful than Kobe Bryant because he has to be more skillful than Kobe Bryant because he's shorter than Kobe Bryant. That's the Mamba mentality. That's why that dude is the ultimate number two. That's why he's been the best fit with LeBron James. There's nobody, no Dwayne Wade, no Anthony Davis. Nobody has looked as good with LeBron James playing off of each other than Kyrie Irving. That is what it is. And now you're seeing the same thing again with Luka Doncic. Yeah, I think uh, I told you before. I think uh, Kyrie's the closest to Kobe we've seen. He is. Kobe even said it himself. He is. Just he matter is. of fact, that scene that video I, I was watching, uh, they were showing moves that Kobe would do, and Kyrie looked just like him doing the moves. Is there any move Kobe can do that you can think of right now that Kobe can do that you think Kyrie can't do? Nope. All right then. That's what I'm saying. What are we What are we talking about? Yeah, man. I just you know what I'm saying I, I was just wondering that because. Uh, like, cause I know people still see people uh, still kind of look at thinking these guys in their heyday, mm -hmm. like the the uh, the Le uh, you know Lebrons, the the Stephs, the the uh, you know KDs, because they've been so good for so long, and it doesn't yep. look like they really have fell off. They you know have. what I'm saying? Like they haven't hit a wall or anything yet, so they they always kind of see them as being like, oh, they could still be that guy. But they and have. I'm just bro. like, I feel like with 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 KD, bro, I think he needs to kind of step back and let and be a. a fall back a, a step you know what i'm saying like he instead of him being the first or the second or whatever the 1a 1b or whatever you want to call it maybe he should fall back to a third option i think he can be an efficient effective third option bro now you can bill be your number two i don't think he can but I I mean, I just, a, you have two, I mean, on a good team he would be like, like i said if he's on our team right now you have two threes you got two threes like his name is phoenix yeah like I, I, if he was on our team right now he'll be he'll be number three yeah he'll absolutely be number three but he'd be like I've said. You, you got two number threes. 
bro, even I think even Skip said this as well. This is wild. And I think I said this before. Kyrie Irving, a lot of cussing today. No, bro, bro, this is wild. But I told you when I watched it, I'm like, damn, Skip, what is he? What are you talking for real? Like, he said, is Kyrie not playing like a top ten player this year? And I was like, I asked that question before. I said, is is Kyrie not, Kyrie top ten this year, bro? Like playing Listen, beside Luca. We said this a few shows back. Remember this? We said if it was not for that 65 game rule. Kyrie would have been an All Star and an All NBA player this year. He'd have been, at least, he'd have been second. And cl- he would have made clutch. Uh, he would have had the clutch reward. He bro, would have he, had all three of them, bro. He can still get that. Shout out to oh, DJ, he can? DJ Wills on um on Twitter and all. He told me that sixty five game don't matter with the clutch. They better give it to Kyrie. Oh, okay. Bit, bit, bit. Okay. They better give it to Look. Kyrie then. If that don't yeah, Kyrie, that don't Kyrie having another. Also, oh, another thing too. Did you hear what my Mark Fuller said? He now 50, 40, 90? Yes, sir. He got to get something, bro. You got to get that man something, bro. I hate that he missed the early beginning of the season. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it took away the opportunity because, he, bro, he would have got – he would have definitely got that first team. I mean, he would have got an all-star berth, and he would have been definitely on the all-NBA team. team. He, should, he should be second team with Jalen Brunson. Yep. It should be Kyrie and Jalen Brunson on the second team. Yep. That's what I think. But shout out to Skip for talking about he playing top ten, and that's why I was going to say to you before the Clippers, if, if Kawhi don't play. Because I, 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 whenever they say, whenever Kawhi, whenever he go up and it's an injury, Kawhi don't lie about his injuries. That's one thing I take Kawhi like. At, and it's at, not even about him lying about his injury, King. Like we already know his knees were bad. Yeah. So when Kawhi say yeah. my knees hurting, my knees are hurting. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So if he don't play, who the best two players in the series? Bro, I'm not worried about the Clippers. I keep telling folks. I know everybody's scared because of we had Boban and. You know, Tim Hardaway was your second option and all that stuff. And I worry about the Clippers, bro. I'm not scared of anybody, bro. I'm not scared of anybody. I, I've said that a million times. I don't care who we play. I'm not scared. Like you said, I think we're getting bored now. We just want to get to where it when it started matter. Cause we, we see what this team is. Let's see if we get the opportunity, man, to get to the finals, bro. That's all I care about, bro. I just want somebody to take that leap, bro, and say it. And say I believe the Mavericks going to win it all. Everybody playing, playing it safe. Yeah, they, they, they don't want to. And I'm like, just – why don't you be that guy? Just do it, man. I mean, if you say the Nuggets going to win, does that really change anything? Everybody's saying the Nuggets going to win. You feel me? That's not the. That's a safe bet. Yeah, it's a safe bet. Just if you really. You know, which is him. Which is wild to me, bro, because they'll be saying some of the most outlandish takes of all time, bro. Some of the stupidest takes you probably ever heard of in your life. But they won't. But they won't go. They won't die on that one, though. They won't, or they won't take a take a leap on that. But SGA is a beast. He should get MVP. Why won't you bet on him winning the first round series? Uh, you know what's funny? I've heard multiple people said they could see OKC losing in the first round. So why are you gonna give them the MVP? If you if you literally know, I, shout out to Dirk 07 and all that. Like I told you after that, mm-hmm. if you literally know he's not gonna win, so that's why I say the goal post, That's why I wanted to play for the fourth seed. And all I wanted to get past fifty wins, get the fourth seed. Luca had it the the greatest, like one of the greatest years ever. Have like the, the second best record that we win in the East, all that stuff included. So I wanted to see what they were going to say if they didn't pick Luca. I wanted to see their reason so we can set that as a criteria from that point on and say, okay, well, all right, so that's why you didn't pick Luca. Okay, so if Luca's number one from here on out, he better we, be the MVP. We've, not, we've done that before. Remember, we talked about the, anal- the the advanced analytics. I told you before a million times, I've never heard nobody winning the MVP based off advanced analytics. I've never heard that before in my life. And the first time I heard somebody say that was Stan Van Gundy. He should get the MVP because of his advanced stats. Mm. And I was like, wait a minute. So Luca got it the next year. Nothing. You heard you heard nothing. It was solid. I think. Like I, I said, you all we heard this whole time, King, over the last what, month or so, Luca gotta keep winning. Luca gotta keep winning. I didn't hear that we Jokic was w- winning less than 50 games on both of his MVPs. I now, didn't hear that. Now he'll have he might not have enough time. But See Luka, what I'm saying? Luca now has as many wins as Joker had either time he won MVP. You know what's funny too about that? He don't have enough time, but Joel and B swooped in and, and took it from Jokic. And as I said to you, Luca so now saying. has as, not, as many wins as Joker had both times he won the MVP. Both I'm gonna tell y'all that again. I'm gonna keep saying because people not yelling that enough. They keep yelling about Joker with that six seed. I don't I don't even care about the six seed. Screw the six seed when he was the fourth seed or whatever the hell he was that year. When he won 49 games, I think he won. Luca Doncic now has. As many games won yep. as the Joker has won in both of the years that he's won MVP. But you don't hear nobody talking about that though. Not at all. Hmm. So hmm. 
that's how I feel. Like I don't I don't understand the standard. That's what I'm just trying. I'm just trying to then Kyrie now he got help. He got Kyrie now. But but mm-hmm. we knew Kyrie Irving wasn't gonna make an all NBA team or anything before the all-star break. Before Christmas. Before Christmas, we knew by then he was ineligible for the all-star game, the the all NBA team. We knew all that by then. He got 50 wins. No, I don't understand it, bro. I don't I don't know what he wants. I don't know. If he doesn't win it this year, if at the end of the year, if that 50, I just know if we get that one more. So I want to get one more win. I want to hear if the national media says anything with that one more win. I want to hear if they like, hold up. And people start making videos saying, well, Luca got 50. You know what's funny, too, man, to be honest with you, I wanted Luca to get 50 tonight. Yeah, I was hoping he got 50 tonight, too. Especially I just wanted him to have one more, like, signature game. To kind of have to get people talking, or or get the forty point triple double. Yep. I really want him to get one more shot and then get the forty point triple. I want him to have that one more game yeah. that get people talking, right? Because supposedly, uh, shout out to uh, I think it was Frank. I think that Tad does. They're not gonna. Uh, the votes are, are gonna go in. They're gonna have the, the the day of voting. I think is on the nineteenth. Yeah. They gotta get or something win, like that. Twenty four hours of then. They made it so that you gotta watch the whole season. Yeah, you gotta watch the whole season. So. Yeah. None of that, oh, we're going to turn it in two weeks before the season's end and all that type of stuff. Because the, the part that get me to it, man, I think I heard somebody say this, man. A lot of them guys make their minds up. Yep. Like two months into the season or whatever. Well, I'm just going to stick with Jokic. I don't care what else he do. But Jokic's got you straight zeros the rest of the season. I don't care. Yep. First half of the season, he got me, you know, 20, 10, and 10 or whatever, right? So I need, just, Ant. I need Ant to beat them, bro. I want Minnesota to beat the hell out of them uh, that game, the next game they play. I think it's yep. the next game. I want I, I want Minnesota to beat the hell out of them. Man, I listen, bro. I'm to the point, man. Like I, you heard me say this before. I never understood why um every other award you can kind of there's not really an argument for those awards because you you kind of have an idea like okay, you have something you can kind of lean towards or uh, fall back on and say this is why that player is getting this. Like you might have a few people who disagree, but overall people are like, you know what? Okay. Six man of the year. Okay, that guy's scoring more than that guy coming off the bench. Okay, he six man of the year, right? On a winning on a winning team. On a winning team or whatever, yeah, right? So okay, you bam. Those two things. You, you you see what's going on. Defensive player of the year. Okay, man, he might have a you know, his he's impacted more on defense side than this guy or whatever, right? On okay, a good defense the, team. On a defense team, whatever, right? You okay, you, you can see that. Rookie of the year, same thing. Like, you know, you can you can find it's not gonna really be too many people arguing on why this person wins those. It's only the MVP, bro, where like you said, you don't yep. have a definitive criteria. To say this is why that player gets MVP. Nope. Because, like I said, you could have a guy pick the MVP two months before you actually are supposed to send your vote in, bro, and it will stick with that no matter what. Not not doing their homework. I lie, Stephen A. Smith and all these other guys who are out here saying some of the stupidest stuff, bro. This is what I'm scared of, King. Guys like Stephen A. Smith and them going to waste a, 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 you know, a vote on somebody just because just they like this guy. It's gonna go back to when uh was it Jalen Rose went and voted for, for Kyrie that one year when Kyrie missed like 50 games or whatever it was, right? Like I that's what I'm scared of, bro. And it's like the MVP vote is probably the most sacred vote of I mean, like award other than you know a finals uh MVP and a fine a in a championship, right? Like that is the pinnacle of the off of, of the regular season, bro. Like I don't understand why they don't take this stuff serious. You you know a way Luca can get it. I started. I just thought about as you were t- saying that right there. Magic Johnson um, was in 90, 89 over Charles Barkley, closest uh, MVP race ever, whatever it was. I can't remember which year it was. Magic Johnson, Charles Barkley had the most first place votes, but he didn't oh. have any other votes and all that. Magic Johnson had somebody brought that up. Most second place votes. If for some reason Shea and Joker split it up as far as first place votes. But a lot of people, most people have Luke as number two. And then some people got him as on their number one ballot. There's a way that Luca could get MVP by having the most number two votes. If everybody has him in second on their ballot. Yeah, if dumb. Joker and Shea, if Shea has enough like momentum to take first place votes from Joker, there is a situation where it could happen with that happening. I don't know, bro. It is. I really, I really think it's gonna go down to the wire, man. I just don't understand why Luca has to win 
and has the fatigue on him already and has to win to get MVP. When, like I told you, I, I, I look back to it. Giannis got them both before he won a championship. Yep. And uh, like I said, Joker got them both before he won a championship. Why does yep. Luca? Luca's already been to the Western Conference Finals. Joel Embiid got it last year. He's never been to the Conference Finals at all. No, I remember uh, Joel got it because he was leading the league in scoring. And now Luca's leading the league in scoring. He's already been no, to the no, 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 no. He got to do more. He got to do more. But for some reason, he got to win uh-huh. to be eligible for an MVP. I, I, I said that before. I said that before. Every time it's somebody like everything that the other guys had excuses for for getting MVP, Luca do it. Then no, 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 you got to do this too. Like but, I said, when when you start talking about oh just win, just win. No, I understand what you're saying, but it's like why does Luca have to keep winning? Right. Jokic didn't have to do that. You got two MVPs. You didn't even win fifty games on any of those MVPs. Joel Embiid, like you said, he's constantly getting bounced out in the second round. The dude score has uh, is a leading scorer one year, and all of a sudden, you know what? He's scoring all these points. Give him the MVP. This year, though, was because of last year, though. That I told you that Joker first, that other MVP, that was supposed to be Lucas. But they yeah, played around. I, Lucas, man. I, I understand. They tried to say Joker had the historical, you know, whatever. That's That was Lucas' MVP. You said this uh, year, advanced uh, analytics uh, season? Yes. Mm-hmm. This year, though, I told you last year, bro, they helped that with Mark Cuban. We got Derek Lively out of it. We got Derek Lively out of it in Omax. You feel me? Which I'm not changing. But that, that end of the season, bro, was ugly. I know folks want to say, what about Portland? They always do it. And they, they lose in teams. You had Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. Nobody expected you to take. That was an ugly look. You had to win this year. That's that's why uh, I kept it was this year. And thank you, uh, Coach, for running his mouth. Yeah, and Jason Kidd ran his mouth. You basically told them what you were doing. So it you you hey, teams we, don't usually do that. Hey, y'all, we tanking. Yeah, hey. like teams don't usually do that. So it oh, is what you, it is. You you are, huh? Write that down for my notes. Sorry. But I've never, bro. I've Steve Nash. Did Steve Nash had to win before he got an MVP? That first year he went to Phoenix, didn't he win MVP? Yep. Did that very first year. Yep. He, got, he only got to the Western Conference Finals. Remember, that's the year they went from 20 to 60 when he got there. And he only went to the Western Conference Finals with the Mavs, right? No, no, he went twice. I'm saying he only been to the West. He didn't go to the finals. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, only yeah, been to the Western Conference Finals with the Mavs, so he didn't get to the finals. He went to the he went as far as Luca has, right? Yeah. Then got an MVP. As I said, Joel Embiid never made it to the conference finals. How he get an MVP? He, why didn't he win? He's been in the league longer than Luca. Why he ain't have to win? Bro, he he he's a lean scorer, King. Come on, bro. Can't do that, bro. Lean score, man. He scored all them points. What kind of points he scored? They got I get you the MVP when you score a lot of points, right? Oh, okay. My bad. All right. Listen, guys. Well, no, can't get to y'all yet. Let's get to this game ball. <laughs> Cracking the fingers. All right, man, listen, who you giving the game ball to? Right. King. This is the one day where I wish you didn't delete the uh the clip. Oh. I wanted yeah. to click the <laughs> Today is like the one I'm like, dang, I wanted, I wanted to click on him and say uh, game ball, definitely the Batman himself, Grant Williams. Mm-hmm. But, um, oh, man, I mean, Luca was just ridiculous, bro. I, and I, I guess you give, you can you can give it to uh, the landlord if you want to, but pause. But Luca, man, was just um, – yeah, he just he just destroyed the dudes at the beginning. It was easy, like pickings, and then we just followed him and, you know, just went from there. Yeah, you already said it. Since you got Luca, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to to Gafford, man. Dude was dominant. See, the the way we played today with Gafford is what I want to see the Mavericks do going forward. Dominate with your size. Mm-hmm. That's why you got these guys, man. Dominate with your size. Utilize that, man. Something we ain't had in the last 815 years in this franchise, bro. Like you got guys now. You seen Gafford out there? Even he was year old and getting to the basket and all kind of stuff, man. Finishing around the rim, twelve for twelve today, man. So. Yeah, bro. Like, I'm like I said, with guys like Gafford, let's get lively back healthy, man. I'm definitely confident, man, that we're gonna be we're gonna be a problem, man, in the, in the playoffs, bro. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. You know, yeah, lively is a big. We need to hear about lively though, but I think he'll be back. I heard Josh Green was yeah, upgraded yeah. upgraded to doubtful, doubtful. Today instead of out, so Josh Green is probably probably tomorrow. I think I think they'll both be back by Detroit. I think Josh Green plays tomorrow. Do you, do you fly with the team? 
Yeah, he was oh, gonna say, I'll get they both did, but yeah, uh-huh. okay, never mind. See, he got upgraded, he got upgraded to, to Dolphin, yeah. so he had to be with the team. I think okay. he get. I think he plays tomorrow. So, kid did that one more day thing, you always yeah. do. Since it was a back to back, he wasn't gonna play today. So, okay, I think, okay. I think he plays sense. tomorrow, and then, like I said, you said Lively probably back against Detroit. Yeah, I could see Lively being back at home against Detroit. I just want to see Lively play before we go to the playoffs. Just yeah. get one, just get one game in live. That's all. You just got to play for one game. That's all, and I'm 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 fine with that. I'll be good, and they'll be good. All right, man. You ready to get to the glow yard? I am. All right, man. But before we do that, man, let's go ahead and shout out to our partners over at Court King. We are excited to announce our new partnership with our friends over at Court Kings, and we appreciate them blessing us with their new Dallas Mavericks collection. This will not only include Dallas Mavericks based shirts, but we talk Mavs themed shirts as well. Be sure to check out our exclusive link on the screen or in the description to help the channel and rep the best Dallas Mavericks post game show in the world. Much love to the entire crew over at Court Kings again for believing in us and taking a chance on the channel. Salute. Yes, sir, guys. Get your Court King gear, man, at Court Kings dot com uh listen to it's also free shipping guys shipping is absolutely free you ain't got to pay a nary a thing yo mm-hmm. free shipping so go on over there man copy we talk maps dallas maverick gear on court kings man shout out to empire jeff shout out to our boy chris man man I, and listen and I'm not, I'm not just saying this to get y'all to buy this man i love this shirt my wife loved this shirt too she was brag she was complimenting me on my shirt man she liked the shirt so so shout out to Core Kings, man. Shout nice, out to them. Nice quality, man. Yeah, it's, it it definitely nice. is, bro. I like it, bro. Nice. Yeah, fits I right. definitely like it. Yeah, if it if it right on you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Perfect, it. bro. Shout nice. out to them, man. Shout out to them. All right, man. Let's get to the glow, y'all. Yes, yes, sir, guys. Listen. If you guys have a question or comment addressing me and King here, guys, you got to hit us with that WTM in front of your question or your comment. We ask that you be respectful in the comment section. Also, too, we take on the Super Chats first. We got a few of them here, so let's get this thing going. But first, we got Logan with the $2 dono. No, said, Luca is MVP, bro. His numbers are too good. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. This is probably the one year. Yeah, I was upset. Uh, when Luka didn't win it back in, in the, the year we went to the West Conference Finals, I was upset. But I was kind of figuring, like, okay, he'll have another chance. I'm going to be really upset if he don't win it this year. I'm sorry, bro. Like, this this was a perfect season for Luka, man. Like, And like King said before, I'm scared what's going to end up happening. They're going to use this as an excuse to not give him MVPs in the future. If he don't have the exact same season or better than he had this year, next year, they'll use that as a reason to not give him the MVP next year. So that's what I'm scared of. That's what I'm scared of, bro. Uh, Frank with the two dollar dough. No, he is a glow yard member. Said voters get three days to vote between April 16th and 19th. So yeah, yeah, we got ten more days. Well, a week. We got about a week left, y'all. So, and that that I guess that also goes right into the play in too. Yep. Yeah. So. And then Logan with another ten dollar dough. No, he said Jimmy High Roller is right. Luca has set the bar so high. 34, 9, and 10, not good enough for Luca standards. Luca is held in an impossible standard. If Luca has one bad game, he drops three spots. SJ bad game. Oh well. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, that's what I'm scared of going forward. He's like, if Luca does not have another 34, 9, and 10, or have one better than that, then like they're gonna hold that against him going forward. Because look, look at the standards he has to have now. Like I said, they can have and beat had one thing he did, and they they made them him the MVP. He had a, you know he was a high scorer in the league that year. Jokic had the the greatest advanced analytics we've ever seen in our lives, and he got it the, the one year, right? But Luca has all of that, but it's still not enough. You got to have winning. But like like King said, and beat getting uh, kicked out the second round every year. You know what I'm saying? And Jokic didn't even win fifty games when he won the MVP twice. So. It's not fair to him, bro. And I don't like how they, they these narratives are, are what's pushing people. It's whoever you like gets the MVP. I told you, I'm I'm starting to see uh, similarities to Kobe and Kobe getting that one. And when Kobe got his one, I think he only scored what like 27 a game or something that year. 
something like 28 or something like that. Yeah, because he had scored what like 35 the year 35, yeah. One year in you know, 06 or whatever, and he went down to like 27, I think, 28 when he got the MVP. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, I think that so if say like next year, my what I get afraid of, right? Like you said, kind of like what you said. If it, say next year we have the number one seed. But I'm afraid they may get like bored of us having a number one seed. Like if Luca numbers drop and then somebody else having that like ridiculous yeah. year. He, he scored Luka 30, somebody one. else scored 32. Yeah, and Luca got Luca got they're gonna say Luca got Kyrie and all that stuff, and they number one and Luca not don't not having to score as much. You kind of like the way Jason Tatum getting looked at right now. With even though Luca's not Jason Tatum, but it's helpful, whatever you feel what I'm saying. But still that's no, saying. saying yeah, you see, I'm like you got somebody besides you. So Kyrie with anybody else, think about it. Kyrie with uh KD. KD never got an MVP with him like that. That Kyrie is your help now thing. So with that narrative happening and Luca maybe bringing his numbers down, they may go wait later and be like, well, you know, like say next year, Ant, hey, has a thir- Ant gets you thirty, you know, thirty-two, five and five, or something like that. They'd be like, man, Ant, woo, having that stupid year, or whatever this year. Got to give him the MVP, even though he's not the first seed. Yeah, I see. We got another one too. I think, bro. Yeah. He got we gotta win that. He gotta get the MVP, bro. Uh Frank uh Fame with the ten dollar dono. He said I told TGK that I want Jokic to win MVP and then lose to the Mavs in the Western Conference Finals, uh, and then win finals MVP. That definitely changes everything for Luca, the ultimate revenge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if he don't win it, I definitely I definitely want that. Oh, if he bro, if he y'all setting joke up, I know you you setting joke up for failure though. You know that, right? You know if Joker loses to Luca and Luca goes and wins that, they gonna Joker had three MVPs then. If Joker get that third one this year, he got to win a championship. You know that. Hmm. If he don't win this year, they going, they going to have he going to be fatigued, Mister Mister Fatigue. From now on, they're going to be like, nah, we're not giving it to you again. But if Luca wins, I, t- I already told you, if Luca wins either MVP, we get either the hardware. If he get MVP or if he goes and wins the championships, Miles got an MVP and gets to the finals and all that and does that, he's the best player in the league. And I think everybody going like. I don't even think it's gonna be a question no more. Like I think when Luca does it, there's not gonna be a conversation like, well, maybe Joker and maybe Giannis and all of them. I think no, nah, once he gets it, I think it's gonna be. Or well, maybe that's why they're doing it because they don't want. They him. hold him at a higher standard. That's what I'm saying. That's part of the reason where it's like I understand it in a way. I don't understand it. I understand why they're doing it. I don't want to be like Larry. Shout out to Larry. I, I understand what they're doing. I, I can see what they're doing. I don't understand it. I can see what they're doing, but they shouldn't be doing that. Like they're holding them to it. I've told you the league is in purgatory waiting for Luka Doncic. I really believe that. I know everybody said, no, they don't. No, they don't. Bro, they the respect that Luka gets not only from like his peers, but like the Hall of Famers and all that. The the mantle is set for Luka Doncic. If LeBron had to choose who he wanted to give the the, the keys to and all, I think LeBron would pick. He's already said he wanted to get the shoes and all that. Like you already been told yeah. that would pick. He wanted, Luka he wanted Luka to be his first uh it's sneaker at, it, under his uh, own brand, yeah. It's meant for Luca, but they keep treating Luca like because he's been so special already. Shout out to uh Jimmy Hyrule as well. But because he's been so special, so ready, like he's supposed to be like this, like basically Messiah, like Jesus, like I guess white Jesus, like MJ was black Jesus. He's supposed to be white Jesus that come and just straight win championships and all that. And it's like that ain't how the story works. Like, I understand he's been doing something maybe nobody has done before. Like, damn near every year of his career, you can argue he's been the best that age player of all time and all that. So I understand that, but you can't hold him to a different standard and say, bro, you got to hurry up and win to get, to get the, the accolades. Like that's not fair. Like most guys get accolades before they win championships. And then the championships are the top it off pause to be like, okay, you got your rings too. Thanks. Uh, Logan with another $2. two dollar don't know. He said it might be a stretch. Luca might be the best prospect. You mean the best prospect ever? Uh, Logan. Probably he 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 he's one of them. I I think, bro. I think Jordan was the best prospect, bro. If you talking about out of college, now if you talking about out of high school, it's Brown. I'm going. Or, with or, or if you talking about going in, into the draft, yeah, probably. It was probably, yeah. uh, bro. I don't know. I guess it was Brown. The best the best prospect going into the draft. I would say because Jordan didn't go number one, so he couldn't have been the best. You feel me? Because they didn't think he was. I'm gonna say because a lot of people said that Lucas should have been number one. Yeah, Lucas should have been number one, but they didn't pick him. So I'm not I'm gonna say he wasn't the best. You feel what I'm saying? Like LeBron was projected to be that guy and his career, you feel what I'm saying, added to be that. That's why I'm, I'm gonna give it to Broad. I'm gonna say 
that's pressure, bro. Like, I, I know folks hate the chosen one stuff and all that, but, bro, he was giving the chosen one Monica to be – they had the second most finals MVPs of all time. Come on. Oh, that's what I mean now. I got another one. Uh, Andre with the t- uh, 20 check dollars. This is Luck Hair, uh, Scary, to be honest. Uh, Westbrook, PG, Inform, uh, Kawhi, Resting. You said the Clippers are scary. Oh, I was saying the Clippers are scary. I'm honest. not scared of the Clippers. I'm not scared of anybody. I'm telling you, I don't think Kawhi resting. I think he hurt. Uh, yeah, I think Kawhi hurt too, bro. Yeah, I, I don't think he resting, Andre. I think he hurt. And I don't <laughs> trust. And I don't trust uh, James Harden in the playoffs. So I don't care if they did. I don't care if we got the best version of James Harden and Paul George. I don't think they could be the best version of Luke and Kyrie. Uh, Noah says he's a Glow Yard member. What up, Noah? He says, I comment this in the first quarter. Grant sucks, and Luca had a Jason Tatum first half stat line literally in the first quarter. Yeah. I said that in playback. I said that guy got an all star game. In the Bro, you see, that, you see that You uh, see that tweet by Stat Muse? Uh uh-uh. uh. So he was talking about the five guys up for MVP right now, and he was talking about that one thing that pe- they can, people can say, okay, he's, this is why he should be MVP. Yes, I saw it. Yes. And then said the one was uh, oh Tim the best player on the best team. If folks was killing uh that take, bro. Like, are you serious right now? Did you see the Tim one about you see the one about SGA saying yeah. he got the most 30 point game? Yeah, most 30 point game, yeah. And they were like, but if you made that 32, then Luca has double what he has and all that stuff. I'm like, geez, man, like who SGA has the most 30 point games in the league, right, bro? Right? So uh-huh. he has that. Who has the most 35 point games? You know why they're saying that, right? Who got the most? I just want to know who got the most 35 point games. No, nah, it's Luca, but you know why they're saying that most 30 point games, right? You know where they got that from? Who? Shaq. Remember Shaq said that? Oh, no, I feel like they've saying that before Shaq, though. He was already on a streak. No, I'm gonna say because I, I, I yeah, was remember he, he, oh. he got the streak, he broke some record or something like that, like the most 30 point games in a row. But I'm just like, so we're gonna forget who got the most 35 point games, like oh, Luca did. Who got the most 40 point games? Oh, Luca did. Who got the most 30 point triple doubles? Luca do. Who got the most, most 45 40... point triple doubles? Who got the most 45 point games? Luca do. Who got the most 50 point games? I think Luca do too. Who got the like, highest scoring? Uh, who got the highest points got... in the game today this year? Luca do. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm asking, bro. I don't know. You know, I don't watch no games. I don't know nothing. I don't shout, shout out to playback, man. Shout out to playback. Shout out to playback, man. Uh, Latte's a glow yard member. He says, Wish Kai gets a triple double, but anyway, it was an okay game. Let's win tomorrow. Should be a hard one. We'll see. I don't know, man. I'm starting to fall off that uh that Miami Heat train, bro. I know it's like don't do it again, don't fall for the Kool Aid. But I think at some point they're just too old and they not, not talented. Talent. They're not talented enough. Yeah, like at yeah. some point it's gonna catch up to you. At it's you can't keep doing that. It's it's great that you overachieved for so long, but I don't think they're that good. And, and Jimmy not getting any younger. Yeah, that's what that's what I said in playback. Jimmy's not getting any younger. It's not like he's a young guy or whatever like that. So I don't know. I don't think I think they're gonna they probably first round exit, bro. Uh, Noah says we are playoff bound. We don't have to worry about playing no more. Luca is the MVP, and Kyrie is in his third prime right now. And we are fifteen and two in our last seventeen. Yeah, is it official now? I don't even know, man. I stopped looking after they were, if it was ten thirty seven. Uh, Noah says Grant tried to be dirty, but Luca was like, "Nah, nah." Did y'all hear Luca say, "Hell no," with Grant missed? Nah, I didn't hear. It. I can believe it though. Uh, Noah says. PJ had a horrible offensive game. He still played better than Grant. But shout out to Kyrie's defense and passing today as well as and uh, Gafford again with stupid efficiency. Bro, I didn't know in that run where Gafford was um was was shooting everything and making everything. It was a five game run. He was averaging fifteen on one hundred percent shooting. That's dumb. And uh, shout out to uh, I got Demond man for We Talk Hawks man. Shout out to Demond. Shout out to Demond. Damn, fifteen on one hundred percent in the five game stretch is dumb, bro. Uh, Ultra says, was Tim Hardaway catching a body on y'all's bingo card tonight? LOL. Tim crossed somebody up, made him fall, and he hit did. the shot. He did, bro. He did. No, so, Ultra, that was not on my bingo card. I'll tell you that, man. I mean, what's the name? Oh, I was about to say, uh, what's his name? Uh, Maxi Kleber hit another mid-ranger tip. Yeah, Maxi with the one dribble in, pull up yeah. on one of the boys at the mid-range. He been, he been, he been, he been, he been hitting them. He been, he been taking them. He been taking them. Uh, hold my latte with the two dollar Canada dollars. He says, "Are you not entertained?" Yes, we are, man. Like I said, man, this this was a boring game <laughs> because it was so. Listen, I think we all knew, we all knew what was going to happen, bro. Like I, 
We called I you. was able to actually get some work done, close out work order, send emails, and all that <laughs> stuff, bro, while also <laughs> watching the game. Like, oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. nice. Oh, you want to run? Look who left that bad three. Okay, that's nice. Let me go ahead and send this email here real quick, man. <laughs> send an email in between shots. He said they was on a run. I'm like, oh, so what? Charlotte went on a run? Oh, mm, okay. Nice. Bro, I like, you know how, like, I, I, I know folks like probably like Johnny B was probably worried or whatever. When they dropped it down to 11, I was like, I wasn't tripping. Just, Not hey, come on, stop playing. When yep. Kid caught that timeout, they went back and blew it back up to 18. That's when uh, the Hornets called their timeout and then came back out again. <laughs> Dallas went ahead and blew it back up into 20, bro. So I, I was like, eh, we got it. I'm not worried about it, bro. Play with their food there a little bit, man. And they finally said, all right, like you said, all right, stop playing. Let's yep. go ahead and end it. Foot on the throat. Yep. Fatality. Let's go ahead and go home. Bro, Luca was out there jogging and like skipping and stuff. Bro, Luca out there just trying new pass. He ain't tried yet, bro, yeah. out there, bro. Yeah. I don't like that. You know, Luca leading the league in, uh, in turnovers, though? He now had, LeBron. He had four game now. I don't, know LeBron. LeBron, I don't know if Bron ever led the league. Did he lead? Yeah, he did. He well, Skip, Bet- Skip Bailey brought it up before. I know he was always in the high turnovers, obviously, because he, he has the ball in his hand so much and all. But I did. He, he led the league in turnovers before, though. Okay. Yeah, Skip Bailey brought it up. Uh, Johnny B says he's a glow yard member. He says that PJ revenge game didn't look very vengeful to me. Good win, man. See Johnny B. That's why. See, you can't say that everybody else talked about it. See what you, the first thing you said. I try, try to tell him. I said, bro, you said Johnny B, you waited. Johnny, Johnny you waited. B is the Matthew of this channel. I keep trying to tell you, bro. Like he they be waited. happy when the team, like he just he be waiting. Like he don't watch the game. He just watch a PJ. He, he see PJ, PJ moving around Please the whole him. time. Let me don't just score. follow him. Don't score. Oh, look at that Luca three. No, no, no. PJ, I'm looking at PJ. I'm, I'm following PJ around. All right. Look at him sitting on the bench, not All drinking right. water. He had a, he had a, he had a bad game today. He's pressing. He absolutely was Johnny. B. Yeah, yeah. You do you could tell they were trying to get him to, to uh, yeah. get him to kind of you know do his thing Bro, there, man. Begin the game. Kicking, so. They were destroying them and still trying to force the ball to PJ. Yeah, that's why I was like, "Bro, this is boring." People were talking about PJ and playback. I like, I don't, I don't care about this game, y'all. Bro, I, was, I really did. I said PJ, like you said, PJ was missing all them shots. And I still was like, I don't. Yeah, it was like, oh, okay, keep shooting, PJ. <laughs> That's how I feel. If you want to do what you want to do, bro, I don't need. Hey, I wouldn't even matter. Uh, Tim Hardaway doing some crazy stuff nope. today, bro. Just, bro, it's a bingo space, bro. This literally is a free bingo space. This one of them games. Work on your shot. You know, get your rhythm going and all that, man. For the next game, bro. That's you, what this was. You said put in Omax and Hardy in them. That's what he should have did. He did. Should have put him in earlier. Yeah, he should have, but he did though. That's why they got some burn, huh? Yeah. You get shoot, and they actually look good against this team. P. The, I told you the garbage squad looked good against this team. That tells you how bad Charlotte is. Yeah, bro. And also, Bertans out here looking like uh, oh, Dan yeah, Marley or somebody, bro. Man, Bertans think he is, man. I'm like, man, you don't go sit your bat, man. Have himself. Yeah, now, so you want to hit your shots. Yeah, yeah. you to hit your wide open shots, bro. Look, we give you the most wide open shots ever in yeah. history, bro. Hitting you can't hit shots and all that. From- you hit with five hands in your face all, all of a sudden. Like you said, from the logo. Trash. Yeah, I'm like, logo from the uh, from the wing, you know. I'm like, what is, oh, look at Bertans. Latte off a, it was off a curl too, bro. He shot yeah, he did, he did that a few times. Oh, that was off a curl from the logo. I'm like, gee. Latte says, um, I don't know if I said your glow yard. You already commented. I don't know. He says, Sons is cooked. My God. Yeah. Yeah, Sons. That's a wrap. We the we the fifth seed. Might as well just rest to get one more win and rest your guys. Yeah, get your 50 minute. Yep. And go ahead and rest. Uh Noah says Keyshawn Johnson needs to stick to football. He is glazing the clippers so much. But I want the Clippers, and I definitely want the Suns, bro. He said he he. Keyshawn Johnson said, but what about when they got the defenders? If he kept saying his ifs, his fake. I told you, Keyshawn Johnson ifs. If Ka- if Kawhi and them are healthy and all, they got bodies to throw at Luca and all that. And what are you gonna do? Because Paul Pierce said he gonna cancel out two of them. Luca good enough to cancel out two of them guys. Keyshawn I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean? And all that. And he was like, man, Luca gonna go out. He's averaging 34, 10 and ten. He was like, but will he be able to do that in the playoffs? And they, they just- like. Bro, he averaged 31 the first time in 30s. And the only time he averaged, only reason he averaged 31 because he, he got injured in the one game. He had like 13 point triple double. He averaged 36 the second time with efficiency. Bro, what the hell? Why does he talk about as cringy? Like Paul Pierce be looking at him like, what are you talking about, man? Like, what the? It's cringy. It's like, why is this dude on TV? This is, this is awful. Bro, these. These guys get paid millions, King. They get paid millions. Millions. Do you understand this, bro? But will he you get paid to do one thing? You're not you're not putting pouring cement to, to, to build streets and you know build 
with houses and teach kids how to read and write or arresting people on the streets or you know, saving people out of burning houses. You get paid to watch a game. Watch a game. Yep. If you don't understand what you're watching, watch it with people who do understand it. They can show you and yep. teach you what you need, to, what you are looking at. Like a Tim Legler or somebody, bro. Yep. Come on, King. He said I, that, bro. He said, can he do that? And I'm like, bro, you not see he already had playoff series against his team twice. He lost and still put up <laughs> what are you? But I do think this is a high take. I think Luca number is gonna be down in the playoffs this year. I don't see him scoring a constant 34. I can see him getting like 29, 30. That's what I'm saying. Like that thir- round 30, even if that, like he, mm-hmm. maybe standing around 30 to the 20 to 30, I think he's going to go. I think Kyrie and Luka going to go off, though. That don't mean he ain't going to go off. I think they're going to be efficient and go off. But you see how Luka numbers kind of coming down now? Mm-hmm. Like he'll have uh, a, yeah. a decent game, and then it'll be like he can still give you a 25, 27 or something like that with a triple-double. I think that's how it's going to be. I think it's going to be a game where he goes off and gets you like 40, but he might have another game where he gives you like 27. Point triple double where Kyrie goes off. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's why I think his numbers aren't going to be that high. But I think it's efficiency. I think they both will be efficient as hell in the playoffs. I believe it. Ooh, sorry. Uh, Jay with the two dollar don't know. He says Gafford, the landlord, was collecting rent tonight. Yes, he was, man. I mean, you heard Dallas? They said Dallas had the number one. Uh, I think since what was it February? Can't remember the date off the top of my head. Dallas had the number one paint defense in the league. Yep. And I told you, man, just wait the lively return. That's why Jason Kidd do not play to other teams, bro. If you don't, this was a perfect example that. tonight. Mm. They went small. You kept your center. You went at to, with you know went to your center. Mm-hmm. You dominated them in the paint today, bro. Like that's what you need to do. Let them dominate them with your game. Don't play to their strength. You know how Steph Curry runs all the time, and he gets people tired by running. Mm-hmm. If you always have, if you have two centers that do the same thing, like I said, you got two guys that combine for one guy's thing. Have them always running, bro. Like that's you always got to make a decision. Have that guy always in. What should I do? Should I play this way? Like you play to your strengths. What this deep? I tell you all the time. Um, John Stockton, Carl Malone, they kept running the pick and roll over and over again. Like, bro, this is what we, we can't do. Stop it. Keep can doing stop it. it. Steve Nash and Amari Stoudemire, they kept running the pick and roll. Can you stop this? Jason Kidd needs to run plays and ask teams, can they stop it? Until somebody shows they can continuously stop it and stop it from playing the way we play, you should not change your style up, bro. Facts. Uh, what up, Pasquale? He's a Glow Yard member. He said Luca had 27, 6, and 2 at the half. Suns had 33 points. What, what the hell are people thinking? Give Luca what is due. He has more than earned it. Facts. And he said, correction. Luca had 27, 7, and 5. With one block at halftime. Come on now. Mm. Bro, that block was nasty. Yeah, it was. Uh, Nancy's a glow yard member. She says, Great great game. Uh, Luca and Dan were amazing. Happy for Dan. He's getting a little banged up lately, so he was strong tonight. How about Kyle with three blocks, two steals, and almost a triple double? Yeah. Yeah, Nancy. I thought I was going to see Jason Kidd and uh, Vince Carter tonight with the triple doubles. Uh, Gina Kim yeah, said, nice. Yeah, uh, glow yard member. She says, Hey, fellas, what up, Gina Kim? What up, Gina? She says, some takeaways of the game. It was boring. The Mads were trolling. Luke High Masterclass. PJ was off, but it's Hornets. And the Latvian laser is the real Batman. Mm. Uh, Nancy says, uh, hey, fellas, how you doing tonight? What up, Nancy? Hey, Nancy. Uh, it's so exciting to watch the Mavs these, day- these days and hear all the naysayers eat their crow right about now because I was told that Luke High couldn't play together. Mm. Uh, you saw my name. There's his name. Mm. <laughs> Uh, Gina Kim says game ball to uh, Pravi MVP, MVP Luca the Don, Holly Luca, uh, Luca Magic, stop playing with his name, honorable mention, Killer Kai, Big Dan Dan, Maxi Messiah, Hemi for a little bit, and Air Jones. He said Hemi for a little bit. I like that one. Hemi for a little bit. That's a good name, Gina Kim. I like that. Hemi for a little bit. That's what he is. <laughs> for like one time, you're like, oh, Timmy, oh, Timmy. Good job, Timmy. <laughs> Hemi for a little bit. I was yelling at one play. He made the layup, though. I was like, bro, pass it, pass it, pass it. Bro, oh, okay. He made it with the left hand. It looked ugly, though. That's the one you're talking okay. about when he got to the rim? Wait, no, it was on the right side. It was on the right okay, side. Okay, okay. But I said he made one with the left hand. I was like, ooh, that was an ugly left hand. We got there. Oh, like, and I was like, Timmy, Timmy. Oh, okay. Uh, Nancy said the chemistry. But today, today, all right, 
All right, uh, Johnny B, you got Tim Hardaway play better offensively than PJ Washington, okay? Because I know how you get. Uh, Nancy says the chemistry on this team is so good right now. It doesn't matter which players have an off night. Everybody still contributes. So I really don't have any complaints anymore right now. Uh, she said, as long as we get the win, I don't care about the rest of it. We're the hottest team in, the ba in basketball right now. Rel King, we are the clutchest team in the league right now. Our numbers, yes. Yes, Nancy. Yes to everything you said. Yes. What up, Sticks? I see you. Uh, Daniel said, what up, fellas? What up, Daniel? What up, Daniel? He says, good W tonight against the Hornets, but we can't be fooling around in the next three games. I also want to say that we should not rest Luke and Kyrie in the rest of the season. I mean, I don't know, Daniel. I was thinking that same way, but, like, if the Clippers win tonight, it's over. They got to lose all the rest of their games. Yeah, we pretty much got that fifth season. Uh, so, yeah, uh, like, just it's done. Like, I think with the, the Lake, I mean, the um, – the Suns losing this is basically a wrap. Especially the Pelicans lose one more. If we win one more, like I said, one more game, you just get the 50, and I think you're done. You don't have to play anymore at all. I think you got it locked up. I think you got 50 locked up with 50, probably. So, Phoenix lost. So, we, we pretty much are, uh, guarantee the top six seed right now. Yeah, we guarantee top six. And if we win, oh, one and more, uh, go to say just beat the, the Lakers, Lakers. So, yeah. And if we win one more, we probably guarantee the fifth seed. I was going to look at something real quick. But... Uh, Kareem with the ten dollar dono is a glow yard member. Says tomorrow is EID. Uh, uh, what's EID? Yeah, it's the end of the, um, Ramadan, I believe. Oh, end of Ramadan. Okay. Says Kyrie don't have to fast anymore. Starting tomorrow, he should be a hundred percent from now on going into the playoffs. Also, bring them clips, Mavs and foe. Dang. So you tell me, look, Kyrie doing all this and uh, Ramadan yeah. even idiot. Yeah, forty eight Ramadan, bro. Well, what are you gonna do with there? What are you gonna do after? Eat some food and drop fifties. Man. Uh Dibs, the glow yard member, he said, I'm telling you right now, Westbrook has more heart than Booker, Bill, and KD mm. combined. Mm. He's killing these fools tonight. Hey, did. Uh, he also says Shea gets 40.7 rebounds, four assists, and they are saying MVP. Luca 39 point triple double crickets. Pathetic, man. Media sucks. So uh playoffs start April 20th. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Oh, you keep going. Uh, Noah says people got to give Westbrook more credit if Kawhi and Paul wasn't injured last playoffs. Russell would have eliminated KD, quote unquote, best score in the, in the league. Russ outplayed KD that series as well. Hmm. So the Mavs' last game is on April 14th. So, yeah, like I said about a week. They get yeah, about a week. week. That's what I thought. Yeah. You get a week. In the playoffs, that don't mean we're going to play the first day, right? It might not, yeah, it might not even play the first day. You might play that it's Sunday. First day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's hope we do get Sunday, I guess. Or, now I'm on Saturday, so I can watch it. Daniel says, now I will say that you can rest Luke and Kyrie on Sunday against the Thunder, but the next two games you shouldn't rest them. Uh, Miss King, she's a member for four months. She says, uh, what do you think about dropping a six and playing, uh, dropping two six and playing OKC? Uh, it's going to be a little hard for us to do that now, especially after Phoenix just lost tonight. So You got to lose basically every game. Yeah, we got to lose every game pretty much. Yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly, Andre. It's a little too it's a little too late now if you want to go that just saying if you want to go that route, it's too late now. And and my thing also, Miss King, is I'll be telling I'm trying to tell everybody, like, don't worry about matchups. Everybody's avoiding us. Like that's what <laughs> it's not about us avoiding everybody else. Everybody's avoiding us right now. Bro, I can't wait to play the Clippers, bro. Because if we start with beating the Clippers, both oh, you already know what they're gonna, gonna say. Y'all better get ready. Soon gonna change, boy. They gonna be like, oh, I, I knew. I, I, you, you better get Clippers. ready. Like, I gotta tell y'all. Y'all better get ready for Clippers fans, because I'm gonna tell y'all what they're gonna say already. So y'all better not get mad, because they're gonna tell y'all what we beat y'all twice. Yeah, they beat both Bond twice. That's what they're gonna say. That foolishness. Like, who cares? Shout out to uh, Dallas fans here. She was somebody that on Twitter. She's like, y'all played Bobon. Tim was the second option. Tim's not even a six man no more. <laughs> like, come on, man. What up, Matt? He says, uh, after Shaq was watching Lucas highlights tonight, he said SGA clear cut MVP. Was pretty close to throwing my remote at the TV, but I didn't. Also, Keyshawn Johnson shouldn't have a job right now. Not calling basketball. Maybe if they talk football on the show, okay. Uh, not he should not be talking basketball. This is why I say the dude is on, on TNT fake. Because remember going into the season, one Shaq saying that uh, Luke was going to win the MVP and or and the Mavs are going to win the championship the this year. The championship. I don't know if he so, said Luke was going to win MVP. He said the Mavs are going to win the championship. Bro. Oh, okay. I was going to say because he was when he he was he was gassing up uh, Luka earlier. Now so I want to hear his picks though. I want to hear. So you know they usually pick their um their team 
before the playoffs start, like when when that last game of the season or whatever, like they'll usually say, um, sit around and say, put their predictions on the wall or whatever. Like that. I want to see if he's staying with the Mavericks. Because if he is, then he didn't change on his pick. He just saying he don't think Lucas should be giving the guy to. I don't know why. Shaq really doing that because he feel like he got screwed. I told you that. You always you hear him talk whenever he's saying, oh, y'all, no, nah, y'all give it to the best player on the best team. That's why y'all ain't give it to me. I'm like, bro, why are you going to screw over Luka? Because it's something that you feel like was wrong. Hold on. So he's voting with his feelings. Yes. But he's not voting, though. He's just saying that's that. He no, I'm just vote. saying, like, yeah. so he would he would vote with his feelings. That's why he doesn't have a vote. That's why he shouldn't have a vote. Which is what I've been saying. And he's not just him. People with votes, yeah. uh, a.k.a. Stephen A. Smith, are yeah. voting with their feelings. Yeah. So that's what goes back to what I was saying earlier. There's not a definitive criteria that you have to meet. No. to be an mvp is whatever you wake up that morning you feel like today yep you know what i'm saying and so it's basically an award from the media so if it's an award just basically from the media it shouldn't weigh as much maybe uh matt says honestly i'm not very impressed with these wins i expect these i expect these wins uh, i guess to win these games by 20 to 30 with the team we have we should take care of business every night until we get to the finals facts matt he also says at some point the national media must be trolling if they're uh, talking ish about Luca, Keyshawn Johnson, Shaq, Stephen A. Kendrick. All these haters will shut up once we go all the way pissed off. Nah, Kendrick, Kendrick turning too. Kendrick turning. Stephen A. Smith. You see, Stephen A. Smith said if a comeback player of the year existed, it will be Kyrie Irving. Remember, he used to pump up Kyrie. Don't forget, Stephen A. Used to before they got into their beef. That was that was Stephen A. Guy. So but uh once again you saying i'm trying to make sure i'm getting this right it's, per- it's personal bro right so you just so you're uh, judging everything off with your feelings again yeah why do you have a vote then i don't know uh gotcha okay Who asked me? i don't know that go ahead but he, he's changing his opinion um even though the comeback play of the year on the same team it shouldn't be him he should be clutch play of the year comeback is dante axum if it did exist um and kendrick turning towards the Mavs too he had to had them as the number one threat in the west to not to uh go to the championship even, though, even though he season. said even though he said tim waterway was hurt yeah he said he but came tim, back i'm he been saying tim Hardaway hurt all year so maybe i'm he talking about last or a couple seasons ago or whatever last season was that like no two seasons ago because it's been two so seasons take, now, so, right? so once again your, your four takes two is seasons? two years later it ain't it been two seasons now he played last year right yeah remember he was out um the year winter west Conference. Right, yeah, was that, yeah. Yeah, so what's that yeah two years ago he's back from injury gotcha uh, Big J says uh, he's a glow yard member. He says another win. I think 50 makes it hard not to give Luca the MVP. And uh, is we went if we went out, it should oh, be man. hands down. Uh, I don't know because we're not getting that fourth seed, Big J. So winning out don't even matter no more for that one. 50 wins, yes. Got to put it in the context, bro. Bro, but 52. I think fifth, Martin, in the, fifth in the West, bro, is not the same as fifth in the East, bro. Bro, I think I think Martin said though before that every team that's won a championship in the modern era has at least had fifty-two wins. So if we do win out and get to fifty-two, I don't know, bro. That might be a good enough case if you present that. If like Tim Legler, somebody presented that case and said he won enough to be a championship level team. Listen, I've said this before, bro. You heard me say this over the last couple of shows. I want the man to go ahead and play everybody out. You're gonna have a week off. Yeah. Just play the play the rest of the season out. And get as many ways as you can. I just don't want that stupid. St- I don't want what happened to Western Conference Finals to happen again. The last couple of games where you played Luca and remember that calf injury. Man, he could have had a calf injury today. You're right. He could have. But now, if we don't have nothing to play for, like, should we play him if we have nothing to play for? If we lock up five and we can't go to four and we got like two games left, should we play him? I mean, I guess, man. I mean, I'm asking you, should, would you play if you had two games left and you knew you couldn't go up to four and you locked? Well, I mean, you, locked you putting it like that, that makes sense. Would I'm you just, would you play anybody? What's the need? What are we playing for? Just a record, I guess. But do you, you really know, need kid 52? Not, kid not gonna do it though. Do you need? I mean, I'm fine with fifty. I don't need fifty. Fifty two. I mean, nobody. At the end of the day, nobody can remember that. Yeah, the fifty two wins. As far as nobody won a championship with doing that, but. I don't think at the end of the year they're gonna be like, damn, they won fifty two games instead of this is where about fifty. You feel me? I guess I was I was doing it more for Luca's sake too. So. Yeah, to get the MVP, but I mean, it's still it look a little better with the fifty two. You know what I'm saying? Because like, oh, you barely made fifty. Oh, you are fifty two. Okay, that's a huge difference type thing. You know what they be doing? My thing. I wonder how many games the number one seed gonna be away from. Are we like five seasons, five 
uh, like six or something like that. Because yeah, that's what uh if we can get we can get like, only like six odds. games, so it's not yeah. that big of a difference. And yeah, that's not like that year. Not that like that year. The number two was like nine, or, or the the second best record in the league was like eight or nine games away from. You said Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah, so they won like sixty one or whatever that year. You said Boston. Yeah. You said Boston this year been fifteen games over Milwaukee. Yeah. Already fifteen games over Milwaukee. Uh, Gina Kim said, "Did I read this already? Uh, we be we should be favorite from now on. They might have the Heat favorite, but I doubt it. I'm very confident we win our last game. Got to get 52 wins in that Luka MVP. I still think he has a chance. He has a chance." Uh, Professor Funk's a glow yard member. He said that Wedgie was a highlight for me. They zoomed right in on it, uh, jammed right in there. The no dunk, the no dunks crowd will be hyped. Yeah, they will be. And uh, what's his name? Um, Dante Exum fouled them on a turnaround. Uh, last second three, you know, I'm like, bro, that hard ass shot. Why did you go so so difficult, so hard? I should say, pause, like running at him. So, like, stop, chill. He okay? Just put a hand up. Uh, Jason says, "Come on, sons, isn't that yeah, over? too late?" Jason is over now. Hmm. Yeah, it's over. Lakers, uh, uh, Lakers lost, and the Suns lost. Gina Kim says, "Suns getting a, a butt, a belt to the butt right now." Uh, Lakers getting cooked by Draymond. This is a wild night. I really hate how the Clips got it easy, but not for long. Once we see them, Suns will lose now and win and we'll win the next game. They probably will win the next one. It don't even matter. It's too late now. Hey, what up, Greg? They what up, Greg? Finals. Y'all better check out Greg, man, for the Sl- Slovenian tape on the Dallas Mavericks, man. Might need to get Greg on there, man, before the playoffs start. Yeah. Uh, Gina Kim says, I like how Luca was hanging out with G. Will before the game and how he mentioned after the game that he's a great guy and how the trade worked out. I bet Luca knows Tim was being messy, too. Hmm. I, I, you know what? I bet you uh, Tim is going to vote for uh, Jokic. Uh, Tim McMahon? Mc, yep. Yeah, absolutely. That's why he shouldn't be the Maverick uh, writer. Uh, Tone is a Glow Yard member. He said, I don't think this SGA talk is real. I believe it's just someone to talk about. He is the closest thing to an MVP on a winning team. I think they're trying to distract sports betters. What you think, Tom? So you think Luca gonna get it? Or what about Joker? That's my thing. I'm not. I'm not worried about SGA. Tell you the truth. I, yeah, I, to be honest I with you, I'm not worried about SGA. I don't think they want to give it to SGA over Luca. I, I think like they like. Nah, I don't. Want I'm hearing a ball. lot of people saying it's really down to Luca and Jokic. I don't want, bro. Joker's having a phony year this year. That's why I'm gonna be mad. Like this not. This is this, not. That's why I said I listen. The first year, I was I was up, I was mad, but I wasn't like super mad because I figured like, okay, Luke gonna get another chance, right? So I wasn't tripping. This year is way better than that year, bro. I feel like Luca is like he's, he's better than Joker. We, he's doing something we've never seen before in our history of our sport, bro. And it's like I feel like it's being wasted. That's what I feel like, bro. That's why I'm gonna be mad if he does not win it this year because I. I King, I wholeheartedly feel like what's going to end up happening if Luca does not do this same thing or better next year, they're going to hold that against him, bro. Is he like you said? He's the only one that if he don't win, he don't get the MVP. Bro. So just imagine if he don't put these same gaudy numbers up, bro, with the same impact up yeah. next year. Like you yeah. said, we have we have enough room to make one more solidified move, bro, to put us over the top and put us in the up there in the up, upper echelon. We're already up there right now. Yeah, but but next year, from the beginning, the cream of the crop, yeah, we're gonna be up there, right? With that one more move, and I'm scared that, like you said, they're gonna use that against him. They're gonna use if he don't put these same numbers and all that stuff up this year or next year. They're gonna use that against him. He's not gonna get the MVP, bro. That's what I'm scared he, of. And if he does put these numbers up with a better team, they're gonna hold that against him too. They're gonna hold that up against him, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like that's why I said like he should get it this year, and then we'll worry about the rest of them later on down the line. Like this is the year, bro. This is the year. When is oh my goodness, bro? Like, bro, if I took the jersey, if I took the names off the back of the jerseys, I, I, I want to take my bias out of this. I'm not a mad fan right now. Like, take the Maverick fandom out of it. If I put Joker's numbers up beside Luka Doncic's numbers, it, there's no way I'm choosing Joker over Joker's not even a top 10 score in the league. He averages less assists than Luka. How is he better than Luca this year? We knew Kyrie Irving was going to make the All NBA team by the di- by Christmas. Remember, Bro, they I- used that same excuse for Murray when he didn't have Murray. 
Bro, he's better than Joker this year. Luke is the best player in the NBA this year. It is what it is. Like, I know playoffs are playoffs. We're going regular season. You know when they say it's about the regular season. But Luke is the best player in the in the NBA in the regular season this year. Yep. He is. He is. Bro, I've, I've uh, you know how you always talk about you go and you look at the comment sections of the videos and stuff? Uh-huh. Bro, you know how many videos I've been to over the last mm-hmm. two days? And I've, I I was in the comment section. That's why I text, I remember I text y'all in the group. I said, bro, I, I've been sending y'all screenshots of the little votes and all that stuff. Remember I told you the fans want it. The fans are behind the fan, Luka. The fans, think- like, it's not just it's not just mad fans, bro. I'm going, on other, I'm going on other channels, and I'm looking in the comment section, bro, and they are all in here saying, bro, I don't even like Luka, bro, but I'm telling you, Luka should be the MVP. Or, yo, I'm... I think it's Luke's the best player in the league, man. I don't know what yeah. we're talking about here. It's like, bro, we see other people from other fan bases saying coming this, from a bro. Suns fans. It's like coming from a Suns fan. Uh Luca, the best player in the league right now, man. Or something like that. Like, you feel me? Like, I was I tell you, that's why I go read the comments. It's not the hate. That's why when I say people hate him, bro. The people love Luca Doncic. They know who this dude is. When you got greatness, it's greatness, bro. Like, guys know basketball. It's folks that do it's 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 casuals, it is casuals. But people that enjoy basketball, if you watch a Luka Doncic game, you know this dude is ridiculous. Like, you don't have to see much, many Luka Doncic games. He does highlights every damn game. Every game he damn near scores like 30 points every game. So if you've seen his game more than one time, you're probably like, damn, can't nobody stop this guy. You've probably seen him play against a whole bunch of dudes. You're like, can't nobody stop this dude. People are not fools. They say stuff because of their biases on their team. I understand fandom. You want Jason Tatum to be better than Luka. If you're a Boston Celtics fan, I'd want Jason Tatum to be better. I wanted Dirk to be better than Tim Duncan. He wasn't. I wanted him to be. I would have loved if he would have been. It would have been awesome. Bro, it is what it is. It's the media now. It's something got to be changed with the media. Adam Adam Silver got to do a little something now. With him. He got to take a little second back and, like, really deep dive into, like, the rules and all of the NBA, bro. Just in general. He really did. That includes the refs, the, the voting, like, everything take away from tradition and really sit down and think about what's right. And Adam Silver, the one guy that I think would try to do something different, because he always, every year, Adam Silver tries something different. I just hope he really looks into that, man. Because this, this gambling and all that stuff, taking basketball to a different level, man. With and that's, what, that's what it is, King. That's what it, it is, is, man. It's ugly. Uh, Gina Kim said, y'all think Gaff go, can go for Wolf's record again? He was 12 for 12 from night. I mean, if anybody does, it would be him. Yeah, he's gonna have to get him. He got. He had to get them double digit attempts at least for the rest yeah. of the season. So he probably could. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Salam says uh, game ball goes to Maxi. I've been critical of his minutes, but he's looked okay filling in for Lively. We're going to need him going into playoffs because kid can't help himself. Need that Western Conference run, uh, Maxi. I don't. I don't know. I guess y'all. I don't know. I guess they seen something different. I do. People be saying he that Western Conference Finals run. I was like. I did. Like What's I said, that, <laughs> I remember one game Maxi went off, and that was in the Utah game. Utah, he made those bro, eight threes. What other game did he do? Like, I don't remember him doing nothing at Phoenix. I don't remember him doing nothing in Golden State. Like, and all that's I what I him getting dominated by, by Kavon Looney. Kavon that's Looney. all I remember. Yeah. And that's all I, I really wanted at this point. I think I agree with, like, Richard. Like, I'm, like, at this point where I'm hoping I get a game. Out of Maxi and Tim Hardaway, you feel like a uh, game you know what? Forget that. We, we, we had a game for them before. I want two games. Can you give me two go. games? Give me two games this playoffs was like, man, Maxi, you want to give me two ways? I can be like, yo, Timmy, that's all I need, y'all, with this team. Give me two of those games, please. Because you got two guys who can win a series for you, man. Yep. Just can you give me two games where it's like, oh, we didn't even know he was going to do that. Like that Utah yep. game, we didn't know yep. Max was going to do that. Because remember, Max was shooting like trash Bukey. going into the playoffs, and then he got you that eight, eight three game. Gina Kim says, uh, saw Shaq on TNT saying SGA MVP after tonight's performance. Not even close. I think media stopped the SGA MVP talks a while ago. They know it comes down to Joker or Luka, and we know our pick. Did you see all yeah. of uh, the all the smoke when he asked each other who should be between Matt Barnes and um, uh, what's his name? Um, he said whoever gets with whoever gets Smith. No, no, Matt Barnes and um, I mean, uh, 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 uh Stephen Jackson. Thank you. I said Stephen Smith, Stephen Jackson. They both said whoever gets the number one record. I told you, I was them players be thinking, bro. I told you, watch out for players too. Players don't always know that, th- but they said, "Hold on, hold on." Whoever gets the number one seed should get it. Between, between, and that's between Joker, SGA, and Ant. Mm-hmm. They said if Ant get the number one seed, he should be MVP. First of all, I was told. I was told that uh, let the guys who played the games mm-hmm. talk basketball. This is what I was told. 
But yet, all I ever see, all I ever hear, mm-hmm. is when people tag us and stuff, or the glow yard talks about something that a certain player said. All I hear is some of the stupidest takes I've ever heard in my life. All the time. But I was told. You were told. Let the players who played the game talk basketball. Yep. You gotta Carry play on. the game and know the game. Yep, that's what I heard. That's what somebody told me. That's what somebody told me. I'm just saying. But Gina carry Kim, on. Gina Kim said, I don't know why they think it wouldn't work. Damian Giannis is what they thought Luka would be, but instead of mentioning the duo, they put it on the coach for, for them not succeeding as much. This part Wait of the a problem minute. Too, I mean, yeah, it is part of the problem. But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Was it not part of the coach problem last year with Luka and Kyrie? We didn't hear that. We didn't have that issue. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Jason Kidd, the best coach in the league, apparently. Yeah, of uh, course. Sticks is also a glow yard member. He says Keyshawn and Stephen A. Smith are the greatest media commentators. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Mel said Giannis effing sucks. Oh, man. Come on. Uh, Luke says good day, uh, Rolling King. Uh, another up, solid win. Let's keep pushing for 50 wins. Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm willing to say I'm willing to bet we get it tomorrow. And Tyler Hero came back too. Do you care? Of course, King. Okay. Uh Gina Kim said they really gave Stephen A. Smith a vote, but he don't even watch his own team's games. They oh gotta, my god, bro. They need to get tested, bro. Like you gotta test these voters to make sure they still was keeping up. Remember I asked mm-hmm. you this about a about a probably about a month ago, maybe three weeks ago, I can't remember what it was. But I did ask you this. I was like, bro. Is there a criteria you have to to meet to be a voter? Because listen, Stephen A's supposed to be this diehard Knicks fan, know all this stuff about the Knicks. Was sitting there talking about Jalen Brunson need to be a, a, the number one pick. I mean, the number one v, uh, MVP candidate, all this old stuff, right? Mm-hmm. But then you didn't even know that Quint Grimes wasn't even on your team no more. Yeah. You didn't even know that uh, Isaiah Hartenstein. Have been starting for like four months. Did, like, did you know Isaiah Hartenstein was black? Uh, I just found it out today. My, my wife sent me something about that. <laughs> Isaiah Hartenstein. You, you know, you know that mommy of <laughs> when uh, Keyshawn supposedly watched all these Laker games, but didn't know that LeBron dunked on anybody. Bro. You watch all these games, you don't remember LeBron dunking on Kevin Love last year, huh? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You watch all. The, you watch all the games though. This is foolish, man. But all we've ever heard is let these folks, these experts. You got to test them, bro. They got to have I'll tests. what you know. They got to have tests to know that they still got it. Uh, so let me ask you a question. What what makes their takes, you know, better, better than, than somebody else's? Nothing. Better, or should I say better than, like, say, anybody who covered the Mavericks or, like, like TGK? Like, what makes, their, what makes their takes better than them? I ask you this. I say this one thing. I use this one name all the time. And he has a vote. Bill Simmons. What is Bill Simmons? He's a diehard Boston fan. He's a super fan, right? Yes, sir. He has a vote. Yep. So I, did I just answer your question? Hmm. But what makes his opinion better than DDP's? It, it doesn't. He's literally what you, me, TGK, DDP, and anybody else yep. is. He's the same exact thing. So if that's the case, I should have a vote. And that's what you I always wondered. That. Like, why why is their opinion more because they work for a network? Yeah, that because, because he got associated with ESPN and got his mm. own show. Gotcha. Okay. So now he gets a vote. I don't understand why Bill Simmons has a vote. I literally do not understand why Bill that's no shot to Bill Simmons, but no, that's a shot to Bill Simmons. He's trash. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't understand why he's a vote, but that's foolish. Uh Salam says, I don't fall for sports analysts switching up for Luca. They usually Specs. talk into glazing so they can totally trash the player slash team if they fail. They'll say they can't be trusted. Facts. They do that as well. I've been saying that so long. That's why I've been saying. I know King always tell me, oh, they switching up, they switching up. And I keep telling them, like, bro, I don't, I don't, I don't get hyped because they switching up. Because like you said, as quick as they switched up for him, they will switch right back. If, so, if one little thing goes wrong, they, that's what they're waiting on. They do it every time. Because he about to start being compared to like Luke and, and um, Tom Brady. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, to like LeBron. Jordan and Tom Brady. You feel me? Like they, that's what happens then. So then you become the topic. Like, yeah, they'll turn them down. Like, so hey, this is my thing. Always, It's like just be, when you're seen on TV, you aren't always going to be seen as great on TV. So like LeBron, his the whole show of Undisputed is half to tear down LeBron. Hey, Queen said, check your phone. 
I don't see anything, Queen. But I'll check it. Hold on. Uh, Stick says uh, Luke hasn't created world peace and cured cancer. No MVP, said for Luca. Oh, and uh, well, I know it's her birthday already passed, but happy birthday to my uh, stepmother in law. She did hey, take Queen, <laughs> Queen, if you're watching, we about to end soon. So hold on a second. Um, let's see. Gina Kim says, Y'all see the post where kids said he'll think about resting starters tomorrow. If anything, they should have rested today. The heat is tougher than the Hornets, but I still think we can beat him. I think he was waiting for the game, though, Gina Kim. He's probably paying attention to the um, the Clippers and the uh, – what is it called? The, the, the Suns. I really think that game decided it. When they just lost, it's like, well, now it's time. So but that can probably be it, bro. I know we got a bunch, but mm, – Go ahead and glow your man, huh? Oh. Listen, y'all. We, we, they, get, we they get they get three members only in a row post game shows. You know that. Hmm. So y'all think y'all all that now? Cause y'all get yeah. your little funky donkey uh, members only, huh? Listen, man. Nah, but uh, we do appreciate everybody, man. Uh, joining your boys, man. Listen. Uh, no problem, Queen. Uh, listen, y'all guys already know we got another show tomorrow. Uh, I'm hoping. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I want to play tomorrow. I hope everybody play tomorrow. Yeah, go ahead and get your if we have to go this route go ahead and get your 50 tomorrow then sit everybody i guess man especially against detroit that's a that's another free bingo space just go would ahead and would you be mad tomorrow heat oh no no yeah would, tomorrow heat would you be mad if they set one of them do you think we could beat the heat with one we can but the, it's not gonna be it's gonna be a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit more uh, of a challenge to do it. Like I wanna, I wanna go ahead and just go ahead and get your fifty, Solidify man. Your 50 all the, all Solidify the your fifty. You can sit him against Detroit. Let let the. Uh, I think we're gonna beat Detroit either way. Let let that's what I'm saying. Let let Omax play against Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Like I rather I rather do it that way. Go ahead and beat. Go ahead and get this. Like you're probably this is not probably because nah, well you know what uh, I don't I don't know what Oklahoma City gonna do. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where they at in the standings or whatever as far as like if they still have a chance to get that number one seed or whatever. But if they do, uh, they can sit. Because if they are solidified where they are, then they're probably going to sit everybody that last game. So I'm not worried about that. I just want to, like you said, I want, I want to at least get the 50. Let's go ahead and get the 50 over with and then sit there, sit them against the Pistons. Let You know what I'm saying? Let Old Max and them get some burn against the Pistons or whatever. And it's, and it's at home too. So yeah, let probably- the young guys get, get some run, man. I don't think okay, bro. I think I told I said in playback. I think the only team that really went the number one seed, and I think is like stupid enough to get it is Anthony. Yeah, so I think yeah, you gonna say that. because Anthony Edwards was just. I don't think he cares. Like I think he's just whatever I gotta do. I'm gonna do. That's his mindset. I don't think the. I don't think the. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. We'll see when they play with Minnesota and uh, Denver. I don't think Denver wants the first seed though, bro. I think Denver wants. You know, everybody keeps saying if the, if the Mavericks stay away from Denver into the Western Conference Finals. I think Denver is saying, I want to stay away from the Mavericks until the Western Conference Finals. But I believe that, too. That's just me, though. But I really think they saying that, though. Uh, so, folks in the comments are saying uh, the Heat are trying to play for – they have a chance to either the 6 or the 7. So, yeah. they're going to try to play. And then uh, Nancy was saying this game is on ESPN. So, no, they no. both can't sit. No, the, the Heat aren't going to – I mean, they, they, they can sit. It's that time of the year. You can. I bet you can sit now. Like you locked in everything. I don't think it's it's not considered. I don't. I don't want to. Even with all that, I don't. I don't want to sit, bro. Like we're, we're on a roll right now. I just don't want to. You just want to. keep it out. You don't want to. But even if you plan for nothing, you say no, 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 no. You yeah. got me. You got me. You got me. You know what I'm saying like me. I. I just want to. I just want to hurry up and solidify the fifty, bro, and then you can worry about all the rest of it. Like I said, I want. I'd rather play our best here against the Heat. That's like your last really, you know, you real competition. Not- you want to not put pressure on the piston game. Yes. Where you have to beat the pistons to get 50 wins. Like I'd rather and, and like I said, Detroit game is at home. I'd rather, you know, you get this done now against the Heat, and then you just sit them out against Detroit. Free and bingo Max space. Hardy and them play. They're Hardy and all them. Yeah, old Max and all them guys play. Yes. Maybe that's, even that's Keith. what I want. Yeah, even Keith get or whatever. Right? All, just, them. all them dudes get some burn against Brandon them. Williams. You know what I'm saying? Like Brett, all them. You said Josh Green? Yeah, I let Josh Green play. Or and like I said, if you want to try to see if, if Lively can get some burn or whatever, yep. I I do something like that. Let them let that be like a like a little you know test run and do what you gotta do. Work on some free things. Free bingo space. <laughs> yeah, free bingo space. So, 
But yeah. Um but yeah, we apologize, y'all. We didn't get to everybody's comments and questions, man. But we do appreciate y'all, man. Y'all know how we do it over here, man. Uh we talk Mavs, guys. We talk oh. Dallas Mavs from a fan's perspective. King said, Oh, well. No, I was just gonna say, um, shout out to Nick Wright too, bro. I was in his chat today for a show. You mm-hmm. know, we did a little uh his podcast or whatever with his with his son. And yeah. um I definitely left the first uh question in there. He said leave questions in the thing and his ex uh I asked him would he be a guest on the show and all and they skipped over me. So I, I thought somewhere. Hmm. Mine was the first question, man, and they skipped over me. Like it's it soon it felt like no they went backwards. And as soon as he's about to get to my question, uh what's mm-hmm. his name? Uh the De- Monte, I think his name is. But or DeMonte maybe or something. I can't remember his name right now. I'm sorry. Um, but as soon as they got to my question, Nick said, cut it right there. It's, we're gonna end it right there. Uh, let's go on. I said, "Hey, Nick, yo, that's how you feel." Yeah. Stay on the Lakers side, then, Nick. Man, don't don't. When the Mavericks doing. It, I tell you, don't jump off off of LeBron, man. Stay on that on that Lakers side, man. But that's it, bro. My bad, my for laughing at my boys, man. In the in the, in the group chat, man, he wild, man. <laughs> in there arguing. Uh, my boy, my boy Strip is a uh, is a Rockets fan, and we was in there. Uh, my boy B was in there killing him. Talking about yeah, say goodbye to the Rockets, and he wanted to start throwing shade at the Mavs and all this stuff, man. So right. Right. Then, it, then, it, then it turned to a football argument. <laughs> Sound like playback in my my. Baby. Oh man, these dudes wild, man. Shout out to right. my my folks, man. They wild. Uh, but yeah, listen, man. Hey guys, into Dallas Maverick content, man. You in the right place. Got three more games to go. Playoffs around the corner. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man, and join us here. We talk about everything Dallas Mavericks, man. And also, everybody hit that like button, man. Hit that like button so we can get them algorithm and them, them, them up. And we find more mad fans like yourselves, man, to join the Go Yard gang here, guys. And also, too, man, if you want to become a member, you heard team mentioning the uh, members only Fridays. Pick it up. Hit that join button, man, if you want to become a member of the channel. And if you have an iPhone, guys, you have to go through Safari. And then you go to YouTube through your desktop. You go to our page, uh, We Talk Maps, and then hit the join button that way if you want to become a member, guys. So, uh, like we said, uh, we usually have members only on Friday morning shows, members only shows on Friday mornings. But if there's a game, then we normally have our members only post game shows here on Fridays, guys. Uh, like King said, I think we have another game Friday. That's a Detroit game. Yeah, so we got Detroit on Friday, so we're going to have another uh, members only post game show, guys. So look forward to that for the members. And, uh, yeah, listen, also, too, man, we definitely got a shout-out to our partners, man. They've been they've been terrific all year, man. That It's definitely been a a, a, a blessing, man, to work with these people, man. It's, it's something that, you know, we were kind of like we weren't sure about when we first got to join with them. But, man, but now definitely something we love, man, and that's playback. Yes, sir, man. Oh, and happy birthday to my nephew, Wes. It's not his birthday. He's now three, man. So shout out, happy birthday to my nephew, Wes, man. Happy birthday to him. He grow up so fast, man. Show up so, grow up so fast. But yeah, man. Uh, I lost my train of thought now. Thanks a lot, Wes. Uh, but yeah, listen, man. I think that's it, King. Follow you oh. on your channel. That's right. That's right. Follow me on my other channel, guys. I know we didn't have a show this Saturday because things came up Saturday. So uh, follow us on Cuz We Geeked on uh, the YouTube channel. Uh, shout out to my cuz, Will. Uh, Invincible season finale ended uh, here this past week, man. So we're going to probably end up talking about that, kind of give our takes on the, the uh, season two of Invincible. So we'll probably talk about that Saturday. And uh, all other things, man, involving movies and television and the geek culture, man. So join us there man we're still trying to get to our first 100 man i see we got a few more people who subscribe to the channel we definitely appreciate that man just come on join us on saturday mornings man as we geek out man so so yeah kings everything else i miss uh share share more share guys also the, um, the links to all of our socials are in the description i know before in um playback somebody asked for the discord um link i sent it in there but all of, all of the links are in the description y'all if y'all want to check it out for everything 
but uh share share more share a like is an equivalent of a share guy we appreciate y'all every time i see that, that that video you put up bro when it says to join and it says like 1.95 i'm like hey, we had like 2.5 something right now i was like that's yeah. it's like it just yesterday but yeah. i appreciate y'all man like that's that's awesome like i don't understand how much we appreciate y'all but let's keep rocking man maybe we can get to our goal of 3k by the end of the playoffs that'd be awesome Ooh, that'd be nice man that would definitely be nice Listen, man, once again, man, shout out to Core Kings, man. I'm loving this shirt right now, man. This shirt is fire, bro. I love this shirt, man. Shout out to them, man. I'm definitely going to order some more stuff. Uh, we should be real soon, uh, uh, y'all giving doing giveaways and stuff, man, for Core Kings, too. So look forward to that. But, yeah, also, too, man, uh, we'll probably have some new shirts coming on uh, here pretty soon. We're going to sit down with the guys and get our ideas and stuff out there. I know we've been saying we're going to do that. I just Hey, also, Discord. Discord. Anyway, on like social media and uh, if y'all remember any like catchphrases and stuff that we uh, love from us that y'all be interested in and y'all have ideas, y'all can send them to us as well. Yeah, let us know because we, we we literally I think King got notes. I'm, I'm just gonna copy off his notes. I forgot a lot of the stuff that we you know we say on the show. We just said so much stuff. Yeah, stuff like that little, you remember. Yeah, little stuff that you remember, like the no, not now, but right now, or whatever, right or shots, yeah, so. all all the phrases and all that type of stuff y'all like that y'all would love on a shirt because it's basically for y'all. So yeah. if, if if you're interested in something, let us know what you'd be interested in. If we get enough, you know, of stuff, we'd put it together and try to get it together for you guys. Yes, sir. But yeah, man, listen, with all that being said, man, it is your boys, Relin King of We Talk Mass, where we talk Dallas Mass from a fan's perspective. We will be back here tomorrow, guys, after the Mass play the Miami Heat. Same Mav time, same Mav channel. Go Mavs. And we out.